A Wellington-based tech company has signed a multi-million dollar deal with the world's largest distributor of medical devices. Its software recognises a kind of breast tissue that's associated with cancer. But as Briar Wells reports, not many women know about the health risk here. Twelve years ago, Linda Johnson was given the all clear, a mammogram finding no sign of breast cancer. But during an ultrasound, a doctor immediately identified a tumour. I asked her why I could have several clear mammograms and she said that um, mammograms don't pick up cancers in dense tissue. Dense tissue is so thick it can mask cancerous growths and isn't related to breast size or firmness. It's not something you can see or, or feel even. Um, you really don't know and the, um, a radiologist would have to tell you. Not only does dense breast tissue pose a problem for cancer detection, medical researchers now also believe that it could increase a woman's risk of developing cancer. And that is what we would call a dense breast. So we're more likely to miss something. New imaging software developed in Wellington is helping to find those cancerous growths by accurately measuring a woman's breast density. This is a category four. The results can be used to determine whether additional screening is needed. You can say to her, look, you've got high breast density. These are the implications of it, and these are some of the things you might want to consider. They've now signed a multi-million dollar deal with GE Healthcare to sell the product around the world. In New Zealand, two private clinics and one public hospital already have the software. It's a little bit hard to find out in New Zealand at the moment what your density is. If, if you um, are having your mammograms privately, there's a good chance these days that your radiologist will tell you. If, if you're in the public screening program, you're unlikely to hear much about your density. I tell everybody I know that they need to ask about the density of their breasts. Because Linda Johnson says being informed could save lives. Briar Wells, One News.